200 years ago, on October 21st, 1816, a committee headed by 34-year-old Reverend Robert Spark Hutchins from Dittisham, England, set up the Prince of Wales Free School in Malaya. 25 boys were enrolled on that day. At that time, the school was located in rented premises along Love Lane in Georgetown. Later, it moved to Church Square off Farquhar Street, which is now the location of the Penang State Museum. It was called the Free School because it was open to all children, regardless of race and religion. This ideal has formed a strong foundation for the last 200 years. Today, the Free School has thousands of students and alumni, and it is famous for producing top students in the academic world, sports, politics, medical, arts, the judiciary, and more. When the Prince of Wales Island was named Penang in the 1860s, the school's name became the Penang Free School. In 1927, the school moved to Jalan Masjid Negeri to accommodate the increase in enrollment. At that time, it was the most magnificent example of architecture for an educational institution in the Strait Settlement. It was also one of the most important schools in the British colony for its educational excellence, with many students winning the Queen's Scholarship at that time. Penang Free School also aimed to develop the mind, body and character of their students. Ever since then, the school has continued to grow stronger. There is an unwritten passage that binds together the spirit of the old and new boys. Fortis atque fidelis, which means strong and faithful. This strong bond has become part of their culture over the centuries. The centenary celebration in 1916 was nearly cancelled due to the onset of World War I. But the determination of the old frieze ensured that it was a pronounced success. The school survived an agonizing three and a half years of World War II from 1941 to 1945. A few days after the reoccupation by the British, an appeal appeared in the Straits Times. Sir, may I crave a little space in your valuable papers to appeal to the authorities to call us back to school at once, as we are so very anxiously awaiting to meet our teachers and much more to enjoy school life again with our classmates. In 1957, Malaysia achieved independence. The father of independence of Malaysia, an old free, Tunku Abdul Rahman, said, It was here that I learnt my lessons. These lessons proved a valuable asset to me in later years and in my present job. There were many changes to the education system after independence in 1957. But the boys always maintained the free school pride. Today, the free school champions many areas and is always looking forward. Over the past 200 years, seldom has one school produced so many leaders. It still stands strong, ready for the future. The Penang Free School, 200 years of excellence.